Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 building video. Today we are back in Solani building another thing that's a little bit different than I guess what some other people are doing right now. Although having said that, maybe someone's already done this, but you know, I thought it'd be fun to build an oil rig in the Sims 4, especially in a world that's so tropical and so beautiful. I thought that this was like something that was so... I guess far removed from the environment that it, it doesn't really make sense, but it kind of does because, you know, it's all about, well, they had the whole conservationist career in, in the um, in island living and that's all about, you know, restoring the environment to being, uh, you know, its former self and really bringing the island back to life. Whereas this, you know, much more capitalist. Uh, and that's kind of what we're going for here is <laughs> just something that's, you know, really out of place. Uh, also, it makes no sense. Let's just get that out of the way. It makes no sense. Uh, well, for a variety of reasons. Um, number one, there's no oil drilling in the, in the Sims 4, so it's, it's got no use. It's a house. You can live here, basically. Uh, but number two, it's like right on the shoreline. Like, it, it's like on the beach. It's not even in the ocean. But, you know, that's kind of like, well, I kind of had to do that because there's no ocean lots. So it, it kind of has to sit here. But yeah, everyone's been building these like really beautiful boats and all that. Like some nice houseboats and yachts and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, look, that, that's cool and all. Also, I feel like they're doing a better job than me. Like I've been looking at some of these boats that people have built and they're like really, really beautiful and like super well detailed. And I'm like looking at them and I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. Uh, like they've just, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Some people have built some great stuff. But I was like, you know what I can do? I can build a big box above the ocean and put a lot of pipes on it. And a lot of metal and a lot of <laughs> a lot of that kind of stuff. Now, also, let's let's uh try and not believe that this is supposed to be in any way realistic, uh, because it just kind of looks like an oil rig from the outside. But there's almost nothing inside that really represents that. I mean, like, I've gone with the theme. Like I built like it, it, the idea is it's supposed to be you know, you're home away from home. You go there, you work there, like, I guess a couple weeks on, a couple weeks off. Like, that's kind of how they work, right? So I've done, like, sort of sleeping quarters. I've done, like, little bathrooms uh, or, like, a sort of shared bathroom setting, cafeteria, that kind of stuff. We'll see that once we get into the furnishing. So I've kind of gone with that vibe. But as for, like, you know, it being an oil rig with realistic rooms and all that, not so much. I mean, kind of, like, I've done a few, like, labs and, like, little research center kind of stuff, but... I mean, at the end of the day, it's also a house that your Sims are going to live in and use. I mean, if you want to use it that way. So at the end of the day, I've also done some stuff that's sort of more akin to that and, and you know, just living your Sims life. So, <laughs> you know, that's also what it is. Also, it's really small. Like if this was a real oil rig, this is tiny. I don't even know that. Would there even be any? Would there, are there oil rigs? You know what? I'm going to Google it. Also, well, I mean, okay, hang on. Oil, smallest oil rig. Let's have a look. I mean, sure, there, surely there's some really small ones, but they probably don't look like this way because I've used like the four sort of large, I guess, I was going to say pontoons, but not really pontoons, are they? Four large like legs, but I guess if it was really small, it probably wouldn't have that many legs. Hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah, even the smallest ones are bigger than this. Oh, actually, that's kind of small. Sorry, I'm just looking at Google Images. I mean, that one's got like one room in it, so it's a bit too small. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it was just supposed to look cool, and I think it does. Also, especially from the uh, the world map, if you ever look at the world map, uh, I think that looked really, really good. So I built the lower deck down there, like this sort of all the sort of almost scaffolding kind of stuff, uh, and I realized how long it was taking me to do it wall by wall. So I just did the one, copied and pasted it around for the next level, and that's kind of what I went with. So I wanted to do. Uh, a few levels in this place. Obviously we have the sort of, I guess, the lower deck, which is really nothing much than a few catwalks and the stairs to get up. Uh, so nothing too special. Then the sort of middle deck is like the main living quarters and, and all that. And then we have the upper deck here, which is this one, which just has a few offices and a few things like that. And then just like lots of decorative stuff out here on the deck. Like we've got lots of crates and all that. Uh, ideally it would have been good if I could get like shipping containers or something. Like I guess we could have built some out of walls, but they would have been too tall and not really looked right. So I just did like a lot of crates and all that. And I thought, I was trying to find something to be like a crane. And I was like, well, this camera rig is kind of a crane. All we gotta do is hide the camera and then it sort of works. I mean, it's also on wheels. Uh, like <laughs> something like giant wheels, so it doesn't really make sense. But you know, I think it looked pretty cool. And I think it fit in quite nicely. And then we got the sort of upper level here. I was hoping that I actually had another level left over because I was going to do like a little office up the top. I did do some walls up the top, but it didn't use it for anything because it'd be super inconvenient, uh, which I guess we'll see in a bit when I actually build it. So I'll explain it a bit more then. 
Um, and I was just thought, I thought a second crane as well up top would have been good. I was hoping I could get a little bit bigger, but one size up from that was just even, that, that was even just too big. So I was like, hey, let's keep it, let's keep it size down to that, that sort of scale and it works quite well. And then here I was trying to find something that we could do for the actual, I guess, big sort of shaft, uh, in the middle here. So in the end, I, I was, cause I was looking for anything that kind of looked like it had the sort of, uh, I guess like cross beams and all that for for the tower but i mean this was kind of the best solution was just using these sort of what these steel girders for the walls from like get to work which i used all around everywhere else i mean i think it, it does the point i, I think it, it does enough it gets the point across of what it's supposed to be and i think look at the end of the day if you can look at this and be like hey this is an oil rig i think i've done my job you know what i mean know what i'm saying uh <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, lower level here. I thought I'd just do some of these little fences. Um, I don't know, because I felt like this whole level here is kind of like a structural support. Like there's a lot of I like, almost like scaffolding or steel girders and all that kind of stuff, just holding everything together and holding it all up. So that's what I was just adding in those little fences for, just to give it a little bit more of the illusion of uh, sort of, I guess, structure and stability and all that kind of stuff. Using actually a lot of Strangerville stuff in this build. Uh, a lot of it's really, really good for this build. Uh, like lots of uh, the lab equipment, those doors as well. I use those doors everywhere from Strangerville. Um, oh yeah, by the way, if you're going to live here, you're going to need to swim into the ocean to get <laughs> to get to this. Because uh, there's not really any way... I didn't want to do a bridge over to it. I mean, you can build one if you want. Like you just extend the foundation all the way to the land. But I thought it would look kind of stupid because an oil rig, ideally, is supposed to be in the ocean. So you'd get there by a boat. But there's also not really any room for, like, boats underneath. And also, it'd be really inconvenient. It'd be, it'd be harder for your sims to get in a boat, go over to this, and get out of it. So I thought, you know, just swim over there. It'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> it'll be okay. But, you know, if you do it two weeks on, two weeks off, you'll be fine. Because you can stay here for two weeks and go somewhere else. Um, I wonder what happens if you set this up as like a retail store, like a community lot. Did like, does every sim have to swim over here and <laughs> come onto the rig? Because that'd be kind of funny, actually. Uh, I was trying to figure out what windows to do in this place, because obviously I didn't want to do too many windows. Um, we don't want to like overdo it. Um, and I was having a look at these ones, these sort of, what are they like? Um, I don't know, some sort of lab window. I don't know. They look kind of cool though. So I actually use them everywhere and they're not too big. Um, so I was quite happy with that in the end, like these little guys here, these little numbers all the way around. Uh, and then I was really not sure because I, I kind of built this rig from the outside. And I was like, really, <laughs> when I started this, I was like, really not sure what I was going to do on the inside. But like I said, the down this level here, uh, I actually had a lot of fun doing this, like uh, doing things that I thought would make sense and sort of fit in. Uh, obviously, we're working with limited space. Also, the sort of the idea is like there would be very limited living space in a rig. So I was trying to keep the actual like sleeping quarters pretty small, the cafeteria pretty small. Like keep it all small and feel like it is really sort of squished into this place. Even though we probably could have made all this stuff a lot bigger if we wanted to, but I wanted it to feel a little bit smaller. So that's why we sort of cut off the kitchen there, just did like an archway, and we have like a little galley kitchen. Uh, some of those like uh, more industrial looking sinks and all that I put in, and that sort of chef station too along with keeping a regular stove there as well and then a couple of fridges we've got some of those like um those sinks those sort of what are they from are they from uh get to work maybe they're sort of like jail sinks are they no i don't know anyway lots of wall lights in this place lots of wall lights and then lots of uh, oh i did a few of those like alarm lights as well because i felt like maybe they could be useful i don't know uh so this is the only place that has this this place has the most windows out of anywhere on this rig like everything else is like these tiny windows not not that many of them pretty dark as well uh which i was actually quite happy with also yeah it's really weird i don't know if you saw that when there's no counters there the windows let in way too much light and it like blows out the whole joint uh, but putting those like sort of island counters against the wall actually makes it look natural so i was like that's pretty good i'm happy with that uh these things from strangerville don't know what they are just like a wall decoration i put them outside i thought that was quite good uh, lots of pipes over the wall, just lots of like little um, industrial feeling things, lots of signs, exit signs, or, you know, bulletin board, because this is like a communal space. I thought that made sense. Bunch of pipes as well, all that kind of good stuff. And just like l little sort of remnants of work everywhere, just like lots of little details, getting some oil drums as well. Or I guess, I don't know, I don't think they actually call it oil drums, but like some mysterious barrel or something because it's from Strangerville, but perfect for this build.
And then uh, just doing some hallways. Hallways are actually quite big in this, like three wide, because I felt uh, two wide was not really going to work with the layout, so <laughs> didn't do two wide. And then three, uh, one wide was just way too small, so three wide actually worked out quite nicely. And then these here are our little sleeping quarters. We've got three of them, uh, two of them are singles, and then the third one has like some uh, two single beds in it. No, so there's no double beds, no hanky panky on this rig, please. Uh, actually, I don't know if there are any woohoo spots on this rig. I don't think so. You might want to add one in. Uh, trying to think if I put a... Because I did put in one of the get-together wardrobes, and then I removed it. I think I put it in here, and then I actually get rid of it. Uh, so I don't think there's any woohoo spots. Hmm. That's a shame. I'm sorry about that, guys, but it's just not there. Uh, I was raising up all the windows because I actually wanted <laughs> I wanted it to line up with the lights. That's that's why I moved the windows. Uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out what to do in these quarters. Also, I, I did like the different flooring. Most of the rig has this like metal flooring everywhere. These really basic walls almost look like they're... So the walls are actually technically masonry, but I always use this wall pattern because it kind of looks like it could be metal. Um, or it kind of looks like it... Well, actually, I think I always use it for metal. Or it kind of looks like it could be it could be anything, really. Uh, but it kind of looks metal, so I thought that sort of suited. Uh, and then the flooring, the idea was that maybe they just put like a floating floor on top of the, uh, the, the sort of metal to make it feel a little bit more like home. Uh, and then just, you know, some standard furniture in each of the rooms. I think I actually copied the uh, first and second room and then just changed it up a little bit. You can see it's basically the same, but I think I changed the chair and the, the bedding. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. And then this third room has the two beds in it, as you can see. So these guys have to share. I'm sorry. This is a this is a pretty busy oil rig. There's, it's a four person rig, man. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's getting me hectic. Uh, well, I, look, I could have done more rooms, but I, I was like, figuring like if you're gonna use this as a house, four sims is probably pretty good. Also, you can change some of the other rooms as well. Um, in fact, you could just renovate this into a complete house. Uh, if you wanted to, but I thought it would be fun to do that. I wonder if we, can I use this in a let's play somehow? I don't know how I would use it. <laughs> like, I, I mean, well, in, I mean, in the current Let's Play, well, uh, can I be using the Super Sim Challenge? Maybe, maybe I could buy the, maybe Max Power could buy the oil rig <laughs> for his empire and make money from it. Maybe we turn it into like a retail store and just sell. I don't know. I don't know. Because uh, I don't think it makes sense in Max Riches. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I don't think there's any reason we would need an oil rig. Not that I can think of anyway. I don't know. Anyway, so we just got a few cubicles there, like three toilets and three sinks just in here. Also, we do have that that bin there is like a, a outdoor bin, so you can double your trash there. We also have one of those in the kitchen too. So there are bins. Uh, so you don't have to like go somewhere else to dump all your trash. Uh, those are there. And then we've got stairs inside as well, because I thought maybe that's kind of important instead of just having stairs outside. We do have more outside as well, though. Plenty of stairs, plenty of access. Oh, I also did like a little laundry room, which I thought was kind of cool. Because uh, I, uh, I was trying to figure out, I was like, what else would you need? They've got like the bathrooms, they've got the sleeping quarters, the cafeteria. I was like, well, a laundry room makes sense. You got to do your, you got to wash your clothes, all that kind of stuff. And then upstairs is a pretty simple layout. I think it's just one hallway and then a few rooms coming off it. And oh, there's like a gym upstairs as well. Yeah, so this one, this little room at the end here is the laundry. I think there's like three washing machines, three dryers. Uh, unless I change that, maybe it goes down to two. I don't know. And I just did a bunch of like laundry hampers in there because, uh, I mean, we could put the hampers in the bedrooms, but I always find that way more annoying if you are playing with laundry because then your Sims have to go to every single bedroom, collect all the clothes, then go to the laundry. Whereas if they're just already in the laundry, they're all in one spot. So it just makes way more sense to me. Uh, which I thought was pretty good. I wanted to use some of those laundry day stuff uh, shelvings, but they looked way too, I don't know, they looked way too homey. Uh, they they needed to be, they need to be a little bit more like you're on an oil rig, you know what I mean? A little bit more uh, commercial, industrial feeling rather than, uh, you know, grandma's house. That, yeah, we're not going, look, we're not going for the grandma's house, like, feel. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense, so we're not doing that. Uh, just doing like a few little hallway decorations. I even did, I don't know, I don't even, was it in the video? So there's like a little laundry basket over the other side near the bedrooms. It's just sitting in the hallway because I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, so this is just one of the, uh, one of the labs, pretty small. Uh, just, I don't know, I don't think that table will be in the way in the middle, but I thought it looked kind of good because it, it felt like they were really trying to fit as much as they could into the room. If it is in the way, I guess you can just delete it. But uh, yeah, I was trying to like really squeeze everything in because... Because at the end of the day, we actually do have a lot of space in this building. And we don't really need to squeeze anything together. But I also wanted to feel like it was, you know, everything is trying to be squished in and and, <laughs> and really get it all to fit in there. So that's the feel I was trying to go for. Whether we got there in the end, 
I don't know. I hope so. And just this big Strangerville, I don't know, lab thing. There's quite a few cool lab things that came in Strangerville. So which room is it? Where, where are we now? I'm lost. Oh, this is like the, I guess the common room or like the lounge room. Uh, so the rec room, if you will. Man, if we had a pool table, this would be the place to put it. Be really cool. Yeah. So this is just like the, the lounge room, really. Uh, so just a couple couches. We got a little TV. It's like a really small TV on a little wheelie uh, end table. Everything seems like it can just be moved and rearranged, and which is kind of what I liked uh, and what I really wanted it to feel like. Like all the rooms could just be readjusted if they needed to be. Especially, especially like the sort of common room area. I thought that was kind of important to feel like it's just like it can be rearranged and everything moved out of the way. So we got a chat. I think we do a chess table and a cards table. Uh, and then obviously the TV, and then I think a bookcase as well as well. Oh no, and a stereo, like a jukebox, because I thought that was quite good. Uh, oh, and a bookcase. Wow. And they've got two windows there in the corner. Uh, so I was originally, because I was originally going to do this whole section, like where this room is, the kitchen and the cafeteria is all going to be one space. I quickly realized that was going to be way too big, and it would way oversize, like, because it was going to be like a cafeteria space. And I was like, well, hang on, that's gonna, we're gonna have like way too many tables and chairs for how many people are gonna be here. I mean, we already have, I think we have what, eight, eight chairs at dining tables, and then we also have bar stools, so there's like loads of seating. Uh, so it's more than we'd need, but I mean, I, I guess, I think the, the scaling feels more right than it would do otherwise. So that is the lower floor. Moving to the upper floor, this is actually where, <laughs> to be honest, where I started struggling a bit more, because I was like, okay, I've kind of done everything I needed to do. But we have this whole second floor that we've got, like, that we've got to use up here. So, I think we do another little lab, which actually has a few things that could be of use, like a chemical analyzer, the, uh, I think the vet treats, uh, table. And what else was in there? I don't know. We'll do it in a second, so we'll see it. But it's got that kind of stuff. Then we do a gym as well, which is, which is good because you've got the exercise equipment. So I was trying to do, like, skill building rooms because I thought that would be kind of useful, uh, around the place, but still have the, the vibe of... Uh, just the rig and all that. So we did the, uh, uh, that sort of, what, that spy table? What's it called? The listening table? I don't know, from Strangerville. Yeah, so we got the pet trait creator thing, the chemical analyzer, a uh, sink and all that. And then it's just mostly just decoration, things that make it feel like stuff's going on. We want it to feel alive. Because also, the other thing is, um, it's very gray. This build is very gray, but I feel like it's actually warranted in this case. Like a lot of the time you guys are like, oh, you're just doing black and white. You got to use more color. Uh, and what, where, there is color in this, but also I think the, the sort of gray scale of this build makes sense <laughs> because if it was like super colorful, I don't know that it would make sense. I mean, there's some things that have the color. Oh yeah. Okay. This is where we get a little, uh, <laughs> we go a little off script at this point. I was like, I really didn't know what to do. And you know what? I thought a cinema room could be good. <laughs> if you guys have been watching uh, Deligracy's channel lately, I don't know which house was in. Has she done a video on it? She did a house recently where she built a cinema room. Uh, and I thought I'd do it too. <laughs> so here we are. And, oh, also, because, you know, I feel like I've done a cinema room before. Uh, I think this is the same way I did it in um, the Lady Bigwell at the Seconds house in the mansion. Is this how we did it? Where we had like the, the sort of side tables between each of the chairs like that. I think we had a different TV though, but I couldn't fit the uh, projector screen on the wall behind the curtains. Cause it didn't, it sort of m meshed in with the curtains. So it looked kind of dumb. So we used the sort of movie hangout screen instead. And then this area here, I thought, cause this, this area is actually completely separated from like the rest. Well, not completely, but like that door goes out to the deck rather than into the hallway. I, I kind of liked that it was like, an office off of the, the decking area. So this is like, I guess the, uh, I guess the manager's office or whoever, you know, whoever's in charge, this is their office. So again, they've got that nice, like sort of, I guess, floating floor is what I imagine it to be. Just put over the, the metal to make it feel a bit more at home. And then just a, some sort of executive office desk and all that. And like a couple of chairs that people come in uh, from meetings and all that. And that's kind of what this is supposed to feel like. Just like a little office where stuff gets done. This is another computer. And a few of these like sort of uh, boards on the walls so they can keep track of everything. Uh, yeah, I think that the room that's the most out of place is that cinema room. And you know what? I don't apologize for it. I think it's funny. And then this one, I thought this would could be like a good, like a kid's kind of daycare center. Also, if you are using this as a house, it would be good for the kids to use this room. So it's just got a lot of stuff for them, like the little arts and crafts table, the puppet show, the science table as well, a bookcase. Uh, and then I think we got a dollhouse and some of the giant stuffed animals as well. So like a little kid's playroom. Because the thing is, like, I was like, I can, I was thinking the, the options were really either I build more like labs and all that and like offices, 
which is what it probably should be. Um, or we could do like some sort of oil drilling room, which really we should have done below and had a whole shaft down the middle. Like really we should have the shaft going all the way up to the roof where we actually have the, um, everything on top. It should line up with that. But also I was like, that's just a waste of space. So, <laughs> you know, I was like, that's just a waste of space. So let's, let's do stuff that could actually be usable if you're playing this as a family. <laughs> so a little toy chest. I also got this like scouting table in there as well. Yeah. Really just a place for the kids to come and play. And then I think I do like the puzzle piece flooring as well. I thought that'd be nicer than metal floor. Uh, and it looks like it could just be like laid over the top of the metal as well. That was kind of the idea is like everything would have the metal flooring, but stuff could just be laid over the top of it, like temporarily, uh, is, is, um, what I thought anyway, but that is pretty much the build. Uh, we're going to jump into the game now and just have a little bit of a closer look at it as well. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like in the map as well, because I think it looks actually ridiculous. <laughs> this giant like oil rig sitting on this lot here. So yeah, this is the lot it goes in. Uh, I think it's kind of the only one we could use. Maybe you could put it here as well, but let's jump into it and we'll have a look. I think it turned out really well. I'm actually just like super happy with the way it looks. Uh, just like the outside and all the sort of like scaffolding and the metal and all that. So if we level up here we have a look this is what the this is what the bad boy looks like from the outside and i think it looks sweet like i don't know like just like look if you look through all this like all the sort of detail you see through all the girders and all that and then underneath you can see like the all the catwalks and all that it just looks just i don't know looks good really good i'm really happy with it oh. and then this world is just so beautiful and then there's <laughs> there's just this oil rig sitting here and basically in the coral reef which makes no sense at all. It's like so shallow, like probably at low tide, it'd not even be in the water. <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, nighttime. Yeah, so I did actually, so the, the whole lower deck here is actually lit up quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, you have to swim out here. <laughs> you come up the ladder. Then it, I was, I, I wish you could do stairs into the water. You, I think you can do stairs into the water when it's like really, really shallow, but that's about it. So this section we can't, but anyway, we come up here, you walk up those stairs and then you don't have to walk very far because it's just here. So all this level is decorative. I guess you could do stuff down here if you wanted, but you come up uh, to this deck here, which has the sort of cafeteria and all that. If we can go into this view, I don't know if this is going to be a little too fast for us, but hey, you come up to this deck here. I'll just put all the levels up. This is the main entrance, essentially. I try to keep like the, the main walkways really close together. So you come in here to the cafeteria, got the bulletin board over there. Uh, I, I don't know. I really, I really love this. I had so much fun with this. It also just reminded me of only because they had an oil rig in it, but an episode of psych, uh, <laughs> which is a great TV show, by the way. So this is like one of the sleeping quarters here to zoom out a little bit. There's a little desk and a laptop, a bed as well. Strangerville bed, a lot of Strangerville stuff in this build, a uh, little sort of dresser there on the side. Well, actually, no, that's the dresser. That's just a side table, I think. And then I think the next room is pretty much the same. It just has a different desk chair. Yeah, different desk chair and different posters. So it's like a little bit, like they're kind of like personalized a little bit, but they're still pretty similar in in that sense. But, you know, it's like someone's like moved in here. They've just put up their own posters and that. Uh, and then we've got the double room here at the end. And then across the hall, that's where our little laundry basket is, which I thought made sense because it's right by the bathroom, which is looking just so welcoming, isn't it? <laughs> and then we got the little toilets in there. And then back through here is the, the shower room. Really, really simple. Just three showers in there. And we go back out into the hallway. Over this way we have, so that's the door to the kitchen. Uh, on the right here is the sort of uh, common room or the can, not canteen. What am I saying? Or like the, the recreation room. A little TV there on the tray, which is kind of funny now when you have like the whole cinema room upstairs and all that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I was so, I had so much fun like furnishing all of this. And then I thought these, I, I do, I, I do like doing a good, in, like an internal window when, uh, when I can, cause I, I love like looking through windows and builds like that. So in here is like one of the little labs, which I, this one I think is really cool. Cause it's like, it's so crammed in, but there's so much going on here. You got a couple of computers in here, so you can obviously come and work on those. Uh, and then that's kind of, kind of how it works in here. A lot of vents and detailing in there. And then down this way, through the hall into the laundry room here at the end. Come and do all your washing. And it's kind of nice. You got these beautiful windows looking out. You can see, see Solani and how, be like how beautiful it is outside and how dirty and disgusting it is in here. Uh, I, you know what? Actually, no, I lie. This is not dirty. This is actually pretty clean in here. Like it's actually look, looks like it's been recently like wiped down. It's so shiny. It's actually really nice. So we go up the stairs in the main corridor there. And to the right here is where the kids room is. You know, the little daycare center kind of thing is what we're going for. 
so you know what? This does have color. There you go. But again, I try to keep the walls like plain and then we sort of put everything on the walls. Uh, like I was saying, like it's all kind of temporary. And then this, I mean, this room is just like <laughs> the cinema room. Um, yeah, this is this is basically we ran out of ideas of what to put in here. And then down this way is a little gym, nothing too special, just a couple of workout uh, piece, pieces of workout equipment, a couple of like wardrobes at the end there. Uh, and then over this way is another little lab with a few usable items that you can sort of uh, work on skills or, or tasks. I guess you could swap them out for anything that you needed as well. And then that's it. And then we got the outside, the outside deck up the top here. You come up these stairs, got a bunch of crates, you got the cranes there. I think the, like those cranes, I think it worked out really well. Even though there's like, there's clearly wires hanging down. I don't think it looks that unusual. Like it doesn't look that odd. Like you, you could believe that those are cranes. Oh yeah, then we got like the um the microscope out here as well. I don't know, does that break if it rains? I'm not sure. But anyway, that's there. Up the stairs. So this is like the little extra room that I built because I, I did want to build a room up here, but because I could only, I can only build half walls, so there's not, nothing in here. And this roof is actually a tile from a sidewalk set in um Get Famous. So it's not actually. It's just like basically it kind of just looks like a, a container or something on top, or maybe like maybe some unit i don't know some air conditioning unit or something i don't know there's the a big shaft in the middle um yeah so that's just kind of there i was going to use it but it's really it's really annoying to play with this because you can't put the walls down and the roof is always going to be visible so not really usable anyway a few more crates and stuff up here then we actually have a telescope up the top uh which i guess doesn't really fit in with a uh oil rig but it's actually a usable item so i thought I mean, why not have that up here? We've got so much space. But that is the oil rig. Pretty much the whole tour sitting in this beautiful area. Uh, <laughs> feels right at home here. It's clearly right in the ocean. I, I really wish that there was like an ocean lot that we could put this in because I think it would be so funny to have this just out in the middle of the ocean. I think it would be fun. It would, I don't know. Maybe there's like a problem with how Sims uh, get around in the game that it wouldn't work. But I feel like, because you can live in a house just like this, like without uh, any sort of connection to the land. So I don't know why we couldn't have an ocean lot. I'm sure it'd probably break stuff behind the scenes, but it'd be it'd be so fantastic if we just had like ocean lots, because I totally would have done this just further out. But there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do want to download this, it is on my gallery. It is also linked down below. And my gallery name is The Sim Supply. One word. You can check it out there. But thanks for watching. Make sure you leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down in the comment section. I've kind of repeated myself there, but I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.